It's an urgent warning. I'm your host, Steve Van Meter, and thanks for joining me today. In our show today, a major market reversal is imminent, and I want to show you why you might want to sell before the machines do and where they're about to be big buyers so you can get in before they do. As with all our Sunday shows, we're going to take a look at the tacticals, momentum, and the machine positioning of the broad market, the bond market, the dollar, gold, gold miners, and we've got a special update on our call on Platinum so you can see live just how their ports work. Now let's start on the show where we head over to Goldman Sachs because as far as they're concerned, the only thing that matters to the market are flows, where those flows are headed, and more importantly, what the machines are doing. Here we can see from their flow of funds, they say they matter. The shift of equity positioning from the aforementioned peak in CPI and rate fears to today illustrate this perfectly with U.S. equity futures positioning shifting from, get this, minus 508 billion short to plus 416 billion long as of today. This is as of Friday, notably from Scott Rudner's latest flow of funds work, which we don't have an update from this week. Our simulated CTA models suggested from an extreme net short position there'll be as much as 219 billion of U.S. bonds to buy over the next month as fixed income rallies. And that's why you see we're in the server room right now trying to figure out what these machines are doing because when you can get positioned in front of the machines at any time, whether they're at a peak and about to sell or at a bottom and about to buy, that's the advantage because you know when they're coming in and buying, it puts a huge amount of support under a position. And then the next thing you know, as the machines drive the tape higher, a lot of people follow from institutional to retail investors. And next thing you know, it's a real easy way to trade. And that's why we love to look at the machine positioning here. As far as the equity futures, you can see this is a non-dealers in U.S. equity index futures showing that everybody is long. Now, they're not max long as they were, say, going into 2022 or going into the pandemic or back in, in 2018, but they're pretty long. So everybody here is betting on a market rally. And this is important because once everyone is committed to a position, what usually happens is the markets reverse. Same on the opposite side. When everybody's short and everyone's convinced something's going to go lower well what usually happens is it goes higher remember markets are always designed to extract the most pain from investors and this time everybody's long now as we go back to last week because scott had no update on the cta positioning for this week so let's look at what's coming over the next month if we see an uptake so there's still room on this to buy but this is global equities at 72 billion and so they're selling on the s p and this is one of the things we want to really really uh, inflect upon you is raise your stop loss levels when you're making money raise those up because what happens is when momentum starts to die the machines start to sell a little bit and then as you'll see they'll start to sell a lot if we look at a down tape if markets start to materially move lower here 209 billion to sell with 72 billion to sell in the s p this has not happened yet and that's a big concern we're hearing from the goldman desk how about we take a look at td securities well they're one of the faster algorithms out there not the fastest but they're on the fast side of things we note that under 4400 they're sellers there's no more buying on their positions they're tapped out to the upside as well here let's take a look at our screens we see momentum on the S&P 500 being positive. The RSI is at 68, so it's pulled off of that overbought territory, which tends to happen around 70. The MACD, the moving average convergence divergence signal, that's got a positive cross. But it's often a lagged signal, but it's still positive. We take a look at our Momentum Timer Pro, which smooths out a bunch of these different technical signals into one easy-to-see buy or sell signal, but publishes them every day and then looks at them over a 1, 3, and 6 month window so if you like to trade longer windows this will help you with that 39 consecutive daily buy signals maxed out on the one month window you see it here maxed out on the three month maxed out on the six month so what that means is when you see momentum at extreme levels everyone gets excited says oh it's going to go higher it's going to be a whole lot higher it's going to rally big really what you should be thinking is it's more likely even if we do see the equity market go higher from here it's likely we're going to see a correction first that's what momentum timer pro is telling you. 
Now we look at our machine positioning, we see on our CTA report, the fast side is max longed out. We know that is usually ahead of those other reports, which is what we love about it. It was designed to do that. On our slower side, where a lot more money is traded, it's maxed out to the long as well. We had to buy it open listed on March 30th at 404. We keep telling you every week, tighten up your stops. We're gonna put, Friday, we got Friday's closing at 452. We're keeping our upside target at 463.97. As I said last week, a low conviction on that. Downside target is a 50-day moving average. That bumped up a little bit. Let's take a look at the charts here and see what's going on with SPY and why we're likely to see a potential market reversal coming. So one thing we do want to note first is we see this inverted head and shoulders. We see here's a shoulder, here's another shoulder on the left side, here's the head, a right shoulder, another right shoulder. There's your neckline. Now, if you pull out a ruler, a lot of technical people love to believe that markets are perfectly measured. And what you do is you just flip this on on the axis here and measure from the neckline down to the head and it tells you we should break to new all-time highs one of the problems here is you get this big extended rally right into this sell zone and we can look up here and see look we've seen sellers over here before sellers here and sellers here again and the odds of that happening are going to be pretty high because people that bought up here now they're thinking hey you know what this is pretty close to breaking even I think I'll take advantage of this How how do you know you see this little chunk of volume here that's telling you you can see the price reversals we also can know we're still sitting right near overbought territory the MACD even though it's got a positive cross momentum starting to slow here and of course the bigger risk as we want to know is the machines if the machines if we see the market move lower the machines are going to turn and burn to the downside because what do they want to do is protect their gains that's what we try to tell you to do every week is when you're up hang on to those all right so let's take a look now at the QQQ which we have similar signal on now you want to note that of course our momentum timer pro called the move on the s p the whole way i want to show you real quick for those of you who haven't seen it it called you by back in down here on the s p if you missed that it said buy this pullback right in here if you missed that it said buy this pullback because we've got the machine positioning dialed in really well on that report and again it's 30 bucks a month 30 day money back guarantee momentum timer pro is part of the markets insider pro it's 60 bucks a month. Link in description below for both of them. All right, let's take a look at QQQ. Momentum's positive. RSI is pulling back off that overbought territory. MACD now you see a negative, oh, I think that's actually, yeah, a negative cross. I was looking down here for a month saying, wait a minute, that's not right, but it is right because Momentum Timer Pro looks at multiple different technical signals, averages and smooths them all out for you because you'll know some of these are better than others, but it depends on the time. Look at that 53 consecutive daily buy signals maxed out on the one month maxed out on the three month maxed out on the six month and when you see that what should your immediate reaction be is the market's extended and again it always tries to extract maximum pain for investors so when everybody's piled into the long side you can better bet what's likely the next move. That's what you see there in the Momentum Timer Pro report, our CTA report, Max, that thing's been long, but you also know we've been giving you updates. This thing's been long for a long time, put up some great trades for people. All right, on three, March 30, we had to buy it open at 3.15. Again, always telling you, tighten up those stops. Friday closing, 3.75.63, positions up. Upside target, we're holding that. Again, we think this can get there, but it's not going to be easy. I'm not, as again, low conviction on this. 50-day moving average is our downside target for a correction. Let's take a look at the QQQ here. And what do we see? Of course, this big extended rally. Now, we know momentum, our CTA Time Pro told you to buy down here, told you to buy again in here and you had this huge rally can it get up here into the 392 range it certainly can but look this is a big move a first correction would be down to the 50-day moving average more likely into the supply zone where we've seen some buyers before but don't be surprised if this happens we've seen this thing is now overbought we see the mac telling us it's slowing down there's some point there's likely to be a reversal here nothing goes straight up forever keep that in mind 
All right, let's take a look at the bond market. If you want to know now, this is important. If you want to be ahead of the machines, what you can see now is the probability that the market's going to go higher. It gets thinner and thinner every week that it doesn't go up. Machines then look to sell. There's your reversal signal. Now, on the other side of the story, if you're looking for a reversal to the upside, well, that's where the bond market's at. Check out this is the latest chart from Goldman on their U.S. bond CTA estimates. And what we can see in a flat market is a blue line, their margin sellers here but look if mark is bond prices go down the purple line they're buyers if they go down a bunch they're buyers if they're green if the market bond prices go up they're big buyers if they go way up they're monster buyers here this is the call that Goldman's saying is look at this over the next month in a flat tape they're still selling but they did most of that last week so there's still a little bit of selling they could do but not much in an up tape 219 billion to buy you want to look for support under a position. The bond market's got your answer. Here we can see from TD Securities, they still, they're not maxed out to the downside yet. They're really close. If 10-year treasuries go over to 3.9%, they'll be back out at max short positions under 3.7%, really unchanged there to be buyers. How about this? We've got an update from Domira. They are max short on the bond market. You want to talk about that fast algorithm? There's your there's your our benchmark with Nomura. When we built the formulas out, that's who we were looking at. Their machines move as fast as anyone's I've seen, and they're max short on the bond market. So what you're seeing is Nomura short, max short, TD Securities almost max short. Goldman's saying everyone else is pretty much maxed out short. So what is it telling you the opportunity is? To the upside. Now keep in mind, we've got this rectangle pattern we've been following. We look at long-term pattern reversals. This from the Holy Bible of technical analysis. And what it says, it's got to look first like a rectangle. And then what we see is a considerable period of time and thin built up of fluctuating from a narrow price range or it may be quickly formed of comparably movements approaching a square in proportions. What we see, the formation of rectangles, the same in volume as a triangle. The first movement of prices into the pattern is usually usually on descending volume. Therefore, activity diminishes, frequently becoming almost a complete pattern nearing its completion, and then a breakout occurs on notable volume. It also looks very much like a Wyckoff bottom. If this is very similar, you see the rectangle here. Well, guess what? This is a reversal pattern. When you see a large down move that eventually ends in a rectangle, it means there's accumulation here. What I've been noticing is I think we've seen this creek pattern play out. We're somewhere right here in the spring. I'll show you that. Once that breaks, if we see prices move up, the machines will start to jump in. And the next thing you know, it'll break out to the up side. Here we can see our look on TLT. Momentum remains positive. The RSI is just kind of lingering around at 50. MACD's got a positive cross. Momentum Timer Pro actually, ha actually, wait a minute here. Something was wrong with that. It should be five consecutive daily buy signals. I forgot to update that. How about they see it right there? That's the latest screen capture. What do we know? Five daily consecutive buy signals. The one month momentum is at a mid range. So it's actually fairly strong. The three month window is at a minimum. So this is Tell us that despite the recent price moves in the, over the last couple of weeks pushing down a little bit, momentum remains fairly actually decent here pushing up. Remember, our CTA Timer Pro had minus 100s here at one point, and I said everyone's like, oh, there's the end of it. Nope, there was a reversal forming. So you can see our report is early on that. It is designed to be faster than the machines. You can see it right here. They're all max short, and we're saying, look, their positioning is wrong. We've got to buy it open on March 20th at 106.88. We're holding that because, well, we see the upside potential here. Friday's closing 101.73. Upside target, first move, 200 day moving average. Downside target unchanged from last week. Let's take a look here at TLT. And what do we see? That beautiful rectangle pattern there. Let's zoom in to the one-year chart. Gorgeous. Look at that volume profile. It's sitting right there at that 102.14 and sitting right there on the cusp of that. The sellers have been aggressively pushing this lower and lower and lower, and they're capped out, and they still can't move the bond market down. Here's the creek, I think, right in here. Here's that spring down. Wouldn't surprise me if there's one last thrust here to the downside based on the FOMC decision, and then a break breakout rally from there. This thing crosses over the 108.64. There's your breakout to the upside. The machines will be chasing that all the way up. There is your next big potential trade if you're looking for it.
Let's talk about gold buying over 2020 an ounce right now, or 2020 an ounce, selling below 1980. So we see machines are not quite maxed out on gold, but fairly close to max long positions. We notice a triple top is a big problem here, and usually it's a major sign of a reversal. Here we see look at momentum is positive on GLD. The RSI is at 56, so slowing down. MACD's got a positive cross. 11 consecutive daily buy signals. So it reversed that downside move I'll show you why I did mention it was likely to happen and what did happen our fast algorithm on the CTA picked it up perfectly we're still saying no position this is more likely a short opportunity upside target is, remains at 184.34 downside target down at the 200 day moving average let's take a look at GLD and we'll look at gold futures here but look at this one year chart Volume profile line, sellers above, buyers below. If these sellers win out, that's going to drive price right back down. So there's your 200-day moving average as your next target. Because when you see a cross of a major moving average and then a confirmation of it, that's bullish. But when you see a cross to the downside, particularly the 50-day, and you see it's trying to break through it, but if it doesn't, it comes back through the 50-day, well, that's a bearish sign. There's going to be some convergence between these two moving averages that needs to work itself out. But 2020 is way up here, so no hope from the machines. They were that last report from TD was, uh, I think, as of Thursday or Friday. So we see the machines were selling here. Again, you see the volume profile. I said before, I'll reiterate if you look back, I said this 1920 could be brief support. And you see in the past, it'll bounce up and down there and then break through. If it doesn't make new highs here, it'll bounce around and come down through 1920, the next target, 1820 to 1784. So this move up here, not really a big deal unless we see buyers really get involved here. And so far, we're not seeing that at all. Let's take a look at the double top on GDX. Momentum is positive. RSI is at 53. MACD's got a positive cross. Momentum Timer Pro picked up that reversal. 11 consecutive daily buy singles. So did CTA Timer Pro. We're seeing the next upside target really unchanged at around 33. Downside target also unchanged at 26.62. Let's take a look why. I'll tell you why everybody's bullish. I'll give you the bear case on this one. Everyone's bullish because you see a series of higher lows bounce off the 200 day moving average but it ran right into this volume profile on the last two years sellers are dominating above here what you start to see is a left shoulder ahead or two heads and a right shoulder potential reversal pattern here head and shoulders reversal if that holds out those from prices to break below the 200 day moving average come down to this 2690 that would be your buying opportunity of support on a short-term rebound and potentially even back up to this 32 level that would be our call right now i do not think this is a bull market breakout if it is you got to get above this 3350 level that dotted yellow line before that happens Let's take a look at the dollar. Momentum is negative. RSI is in the toilet at 32. MACD negative cross. So what you have here is some oversold conditions on the dollar. 11 daily consecutive sell signals on Momentum Timer Pro. Pick that up beautifully. We see CTM Timer Pro. Well, look at that. Max short across the board. I'm going to talk about looking for a reversal setup. Well, this should be on your radar. Upside targets, 100-day moving average. It did tag our 200-day moving average target before. Downside target unchanged at 20. 3737. Let's take a look at the UUP here first. And what we see, all it's done is come back up into this two year volume profile. Look for that to be rejected. That's my base cases. Dollar heads lower. The Fed's likely to hike. Whether or not they hike after that, the market says they're done. We see rejection of the 200 day, rejection of the 200 day, rejection of the 200 day. You want to know what a bear signal is? That. And here you can see this was a little bit of a bear trap as price drop and the bulls are coming in here. But if it doesn't break above the same 200 day or 21 day moving average right around this 101.76 well the next thing you know this is just signaling prices down look for 98 on the dollar all right let's take a look at our call on platinum we used the reports and i'll show you exactly what we did momentum positive rsi is a 51 macd has got a positive cross 10 consecutive daily buy signals so momentum time pro actually beat the cta report into this trade uh, cta said buy on 713 at open 8936 would be your price target if you did it price closings down you say wait a minute well not every trade runs perfectly but we're going to hold on to this because this isn't really a big down move uh, upside target 9340 
8608 on the downside we're going to show you why just because it moved down now maybe you put a stop loss in if you traded this and you would have been stopped out but i'll just take a look all it did was run into its volume profile line get rejected there it's pulling back looking for support the 21 day moving average is bottoming and rounding up those are good signs we can see of course momentum is still positive the macd is turning up and looking to move into positive territory there so look nothing here is terrible it did get some negative push off of its 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average but i think we're going to see this thing kind of hold here particularly if the dollar tends to go down a little bit i think people will run to the metals and there is still some upside potential in this trade but of course as with anything we always recommend you put a stop loss on and if not well, then you always should because it only makes sense when you do that. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that trade along with our other ones. And with that, I'm Steve Van Meter. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being fans. Bye now.